Hello, in this video we're going to check out the two newly revealed Warhammer TV subscription models. We're getting a Mark Gibbons artwork inspired Terminator, and a Chaos Sorcerer for fantasy that's sporting some very familiar familiars, and a couple of rumour engines to boot. Alright, let's check out those minis. So here's the article from Sunday the 14th of August 2022, revealed the Chaos Fueled Warhammer Plus Year 2 miniatures. So they're revealing these two choices of fantastic minis for Warhammer Plus subscribers. They include Meebelore Dark Fang, or maybe that's my Belore. I have no idea how to pronounce that one. And Azrak the Annihilator. Let's take a look at Azrak first. So this World Eaters Terminator, and you can see the World Eaters symbol clearly on the right knee pad. And this model is completely based on a piece of famous Mark Gibbons artwork. And just look at the paint job, the non-metallic metals there, somebody's taken a lot of time on this mini. With fantastic detailing throughout, just look at that chain fist, you wouldn't want him to give you the finger. And I gotta say, with all the Primaris marines around, people have been crying out for a new Terminator. They finally got one. So Azrak was one that people were kind of expecting, because uh, a lot of much smarter people than me on the internet did uh, point out the silhouette matched really closely. And then we saw some sort of spin arounds in some videos earlier this year where you'd get us a little bit of a glimpse of some of the shapes, maybe the corn symbols. So well done, those people. And in the other corner we have, I'm going to go with me Belor, Dark Fan, My Belor, Me Belor, My Belor. I'm going to go with My Belor. My Belor, Dark Fang. And four capering familiars. So, I've cheesily said the familiars are familiar. Uh, they released familiars way back in 1985, which was a fantastic year to be born in, by the way. And I actually picked these up as a re release they did around 2016 or so in resin. Now, there were a lot more before, but these have clearly taken inspiration from them. Additionally, before moving on to the main model, these familiars do clear up at least one rumour engine. I spotted one. The little capering fish man. He's got a bone flute, which I thought was fleshy to quartz, or maybe even a savage skink, just for the realm of go and war cry and stuff. You can check out my Rumor Wang video now at the top of the screen or something. I'll, I'll point to it at the end of the video if you're interested. Now on to my Belor. Stomping down with a hoofed foot on a toothy book. This Chaos Sorceress is also holding another Rumor engine, that staff top we've seen. A lot of people online have actually spotted this was the model silhouette that we'd already seen anyway, so this one didn't come as a surprise. And I did mention this in my Salty Warcry Rumours video where I went through all the rumour engines a while ago. And you can see she's kind of blindfolded here and presumably using this evil enchanted eye that's peeking out of the helmet. Yeah, it's full of character. It's more impressive than I imagine from the silhouette and I think the familiars do add a lot for me personally. So Warhammer TV, love it, hate it, or just be kind of a bit mad towards it. I I'm in the former camp. I think anything that's producing extra stuff for our hobby is fab. And if I really wanted one of those models and I didn't want to sign up to Warhammer TV, I would just be looking at my local Electronic Bay web store to uh, pick a copy up. So some negative feedback around how people are getting a hold of these models. So um, people were invited to sign up sort of last August or so. Some people got the models slightly earlier for this year if they subscribe to some apps as well. Uh, but those people had to wait a full year and um, in the last couple of months or so they have sort of joined said you know you can pay a 12 month subscription and get one of these models from the last year in the next month or so 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 some of the early adopters were maybe a little bit peeved but um i, I think it's fine you know those people are then presumably gonna have to pay for another 12 months to get the next mini if they want to and things like that i mean you, you know it's just and we're living in a time at the moment where a lot of these box sets and models aren't arriving quite at the time you expect anyway so we're used to waiting just look at curse city so anyway, now for this second year, year subscribers can expect to get their new miniature within a month. If you're coming in brand new, you like the look of these, this Terminator and you want to pay for a year subscription, which was around 60 quid before. So that's 12 months of TV content and a miniature, and then you can buy the other one if you want to as well. You could choose to do that and you'd have it with you in a month. So they do go on to say these exclusive miniatures are in addition to everything else you get with Warhammer Plus. Stupendous animated series, bespoke Warhammer shows like Battle Report, Lore Masters and Citadel Masterclass, a treasure trove of lore and white dwarf issues on the Warhammer Vault and offers and competitions. So anyway, let me know what you think. I love the models. I'm an excitable person. They look cool. I really like the familiars, if I'm honest. I want to use them in war cry as something push them towards people and let them squeak and get killed. It'll be, it'll be great. So are you a fan of Warhammer TV and what do you think of the minis? Let me know in the comments and if you're interested in rumor engines, check out my rumor wang video. Oh.
bloody hell, it's bright. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be appearing like there. It's really hot in the UK. The sun's doing weird things, and it's there's rumor Wang. I guess this is going to be the end scene now. Don't think I can film anymore because it's bloody bright. 